yo, yo, yo. You're in the mix. The world's finest, man. DJ. DJ. Welcome to the Big Rich Movie Review Hour here on YouTube. Every Monday evenings weekly. Oh my God. Shut the front door. What? What? Sit back as we break down some of our favorite movies and compare opinions and ratings. No, there will be spoilers during the broadcast. Always remember to like, share, and subscribe. What's good, people? Big Rich from the Big Rich Live on the Mike Radio Show here on the next installment of Big Rich Movie Review. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Today, we're going to get straight to it. We're going to discuss uh, the movie by my, Matt Damon that came out mm, about a month ago, month, month and a half ago, called The Great Wall. Again, like I said, it was starring Matt Damon. It's an hour and 43 minutes. It's an action, action thriller, basically. Um, yeah, it, it, actually, the release date was February 17th. So, yeah, yeah, a little bit more. I, I was right. I was right. Um, director was uh, Zhang Yumo. I probably butchered that name. So sorry. Um, the estimated budget was 150 million. Total gross up to today is 329 million or 329.7 million. Like I said earlier, it's uh, starring Matt Damon, uh, Pedro uh, Pascal, William DeVoe, Zhang Hayo, Hayo. I know I I butchered that and uh, Tang Jing. Uh, butchered that also. So sorry. The IMDb score was 6.2 out of 10. The Rotten, Comment Rotten Tomatoes came in at 35%. Let me first say, before I even get into my little diatribe, because this is not going to be long, I thoroughly enjoyed this movie. I really did. Um, the colors was great. The storyline, you know, was pretty good. I mean, it, the, the, the ebbs and flows, you know, the pits was you weren't in the lows too long. Um, I, I really didn't particularly like. Um, well, well, we'll 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 go we'll go past about what I didn't like. But uh, let me remind everybody: it's going to be spoilers. I really wanted to talk about the movie, how I felt about the movie, what was the premise of the movie, and then I'll get into some of the pros and cons, and then I'll get into the the big elephant in the room: the um, the whitewashing of this story and character. So basically, the quick synopsis for The Great Wall is when a mercenary warrior, Matt Damon, was in prison while within The Great Wall, he discovers a, the mystery behind one of the greatest wonders of the world. As wave after wave of marauding beasts besiege the massive structure, his quest for fortune turns into a journey towards heroism as he joins a huge army of elite warriors to confront the imaginable and seemingly unstoppable force. Okay. To break all that down, him, Matt Damon, who's William, and and Pedro Pascal, which is uh, Tovar, those are basically their brothers in arms, right? They was actually, you know, mercenaries that came from Europe. They was in Asia looking for what they call the black powder, which is basically gunpowder, right? Because anybody who knows anything about history knows that gunpowder was developed and introduced to the world um, by the um, the Asian cultures, you know. That's basically the truth, okay? So they was over there for that, and they was captured um, after being chased by some nomads. They were captured by this army, uh, brought in to die um, during the time when they was deciding what they was going to do with them, uh, these marauders who looks like some type of dragon. It was so funny. My... <laughs> My wife was saying that it looks like these beasts look some some somewhere similar to the beast in Kong. You know, I laughed. I think they look more um, like some reptiles, but it was pretty good. You know, the the whole uh, visual effects, which is awesome. You know, um, so then uh, Matt Damon and them got got free. They use their wares, uh, their their skills, uh, because Matt Damon was an archer and uh, Tovar, uh, Pedro Pascal, which is basically just a badass, you know, with uh, <clears throat> with any type of edge weapon, right? So they wind up killing two beasts and was basically brought into the fold by the general of the army and basically you know they was asked to fight so 
they fought that first wave. They was cool. Then they was like when William Defoe's character came there and said he came 20 some odd years ago look for black powder they caught him everybody else that was with him was either killed or dead and he knows a way how to get to black powder so William Defoe and Pedro Pascal they try to get the black the, the black powder while Matt Damon's character is now not only is he romantically attracted to uh tying jeans uh, who's a captain of of one of the guard factions, her character, but he also being pulled on some heroism tip, right? So to make a long story short, uh, when the big uh, blowout happens, when they come in like gangbusters talking about the beast, the, the big bads, when they come in, you know, this is where Matt Damon and... Um, his brother Tovar and William DeVoe's character Ballard, they all basically separate ways. They go different ways, you know, and he helps out. Um, they get away with the black powder. They get caught again. They set to die. Okay. William DeVoe gets killed off of some bull crap, but I'm not really going to go into that. But uh, Tovar is brought back basically to rot in jail. All of this time, Matt Damon's character is now being basically the great white hope. Okay. So I, I say that by saying I thoroughly enjoyed this movie. Okay. Had it have been, let's just say, put it like this. If this wasn't the great wall, let's just say this was like a Joan of Arc type thing. Okay. This was a Roman type movie. I'd have been all in. I'd have been all in 100%. It wouldn't have been a 10 out of a 10, but it would have been probably about an 8.5 to 9. That's how much I liked the whole story and liked the whole movie. I wouldn't give it a 9.5 or a 10 because what the, the main thing that I didn't like, other than what we're going to talk about, the whitewashing, is that during the conversations between the general and all his captains, it was in Chinese. So I don't know if it was Mandarin or Cantonese or something like that. Right. And they had, um, what do you call that? Uh, writing on the bottom. Uh, it's just, it's, it just escaped my, but subtitles. So it has subtitles. I hate subtitles. Why you might say I hate subtitles. I don't come to the movies to read. And I don't know about other people, but when you sitting around here trying to read that, you're going to miss something. There's something that you're going to miss. There's something within the the uh, the subplot, the plot, something in the background you are going to miss. So I didn't like that at all. I thought that you start out as you start out as they talking in Cantonese or something like that. And then just while you're talking like they do in a lot of other movies, when they're talking, now it turns into English. You follow what I'm saying? And then you're like, okay, cool. So now I ain't got to read and everything, and I'm not missing anything. Because if I if I decide not to read, then I can't understand what the hell they're saying. So that was like the thing that dropped it down to me. Now, let's talk about the whitewash. I've I've watched a couple of reviews. Um oh shoot, what is her name? It, it, it'll come to me. Grace Randolph and a couple of other reviews, right? And one of the first things they want to say that this is not a great white hope movie or it's not a whitewashing movie. I have to throw the bullshit flag on. I'm like, well, what movie did you watch? You know, what movie did you watch? Matt Damon wind up being a hero. Period. Period. What you've done, you know, what you've done is you have put a, a fictitious white character in an area where we know that it didn't happen. And they were so territorial, it wouldn't have happened. And you interject that. And, and how you get around it, you say, okay, well, we partnered with a Asian company. We got a bunch of Asian co-stars. We got an Asian director. What the hell does that mean? That means nothing. 
it means nothing. It's still a whitewashing, great white hope type flick. Say that. You know what I'm saying? I mean, you're going to do what you're going to do anyway. And obviously, it, it, it made a little money because you always say if the budget is 150, 150 million, right? You usually add, I know some people say double that on their marketing, but I don't think that they did that. So let's just say you add another 50 to $75 million on distribution and advertising and all that. So your budget is up to 225,000, 225 million. So the gross was 329 million. So, okay, so they made 100 million. So they made a little bread. But the fact of the matter is, just say that. Just say that this is a great white hope movie and call that and, and then call it yours. Pretty much it. Don't sit around and say, oh, well, you know, we got this Asian actor, this Asian. Get the heck out of here with that. And I just can't understand how they look at this movie. And it's probably going to be a lot of other people who say something, you know, get at me, maybe put it down in the comment section or whatever, said that I'm just looking into it too much and, and I'm wrong. I like to see how it's not. How, how, I'm, how am I wrong? How am I not right? Matt Damon was the hero of this movie. A white man went to the Great Wall of China and basically saved the entire dynasty. Really? 